Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at this photo right here. Concord Police Chief says he'd like to see school investigation. Chief Bradley Osgood says police staff were not involved in the investigation and appreciates improved communication with the school system. Despite improved relations between the Concord School District and the Concord Police Department, the city's Police chief says he has not reviewed a copy of an internal investigation by the district into employee actions connected to the Premier Howie Leung case. Chief Bradley Osgood, during a public safety board meeting Monday, was asked to comment on the matter, including interactive with the district. Relations have been strained after no one in the school system contacted the police department concerning the Leung investigation despite a memorandum of agreement to work together on criminal issues, which was broken by the district when it failed to report allegations that Leung was involved with a student in December 2018. Osgood called the district's lack of transparency at that time a disagreement and said it is what it is. But he added, since that time, I've had very, very, very good communication and feedback from the superintendent office until last week. School superintendent Terry Forston and Tom Sicka, the principal of Concord High School, were put on paid leave Friday. Donna Pally, the district's assistant superintendent, was elevated to the acting superintendent's position. Pally is not currently credentialed for either position, according to the New Hampshire Department of Education. If the school board or district decides to make any policy changes in the wake of the investigation, Osgood said the department would like to know about them. To work through the issue there might be between the organization. Uh, do I anticipate getting a copy of the report? He asked. That's the determination of the school board. They will make that determination. Osgood said the department was not involved in any way in the investigation by Dudja Perkins of DP Law, a former Boston prosecutor. He said he had spoken to Stephen Bennett of Wildly Star and Peters PLLC in interim between school board members and Perkins, who informed Osgood of the investigation and told him about Perkins being involved. Perkins did not request any documentation from the department and didn't interview employees as part of her investigation. The department would not 
have been able to share any information with her because it is an open investigation, he added. None of those records would be released, Osgood said, unless it is a public document in Massachusetts right now. When asked after the meeting if he wanted to see the report, Osgood replied, out of curiosity, certainly I would like to read it. Do I have a critical desire to read it right now? No, I don't. Eventually, yes, whatever they can provide. Currently, Osgood added the Leong investigation in New Hampshire is still an open case and neither school board members nor any investigator they hired would be able to see the police reports or investigator materials. And that does it for my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye everyone.